Hello everybody, welcome back, Jordan here. Today we have so much stuff to do. I can't even remember what we have to do. There's so much of it to do. The list is long. Included in that list is getting a haircut. I always look forward to that time, that's awesome. And while we buzz around and do a whole bunch of different stuff, we're gonna bring you with us and we're also going to stop at a few different Lego shopping destinations. I hope to find some of the April sets that aren't released yet in stores early. That's our mission. Yeah, also we're gonna check out the old Lego room. What do I mean by that? I mean the old Lego room at the old house. Remember I was thinking about making a Lego house at one point? Yeah, we're gonna go check out that house and just do a whole bunch of other stuff around Edmonton. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's roll on out because the list is long and we gotta get started. First order of business is to get some cash by bringing in the bottles. And we also got some old TVs here that we're looking to donate. It felt good to get rid of all those bottles. 60 bucks, not bad. Now we got some Lego money, awesome. Also got rid of those TVs, donated them, feels good. Now we're at West Summerton Mall to check out the Lego store. So we just finished up at the Lego store. We saw some uh, really cool stuff in stock. One that I haven't seen in stock since like it was released was the Encanto house. And I was really surprised to see that in stock. Also, they had a really cool display set up for the new DeLorean. It was actually on a spinning sort of lazy Susan. So I thought that was pretty neat. And they had the uh, doors propped open by using an acrylic stand. Thought that was pretty funny. And they didn't actually have any in stock, but the back side of the display had a really cool thing. Uh, also, I saw some LEGO City sets in stock. Oh, not some LEGO City sets, but we saw roads. Roads are in stock. I haven't seen those in stock at the LEGO store for quite some time. Not much had changed on the pad wall, so not really anything worth mentioning there. I saw that some people were actually finding one by two trans blue tiles on their pad walls, but Nothing here at this Lego store. They actually had uh, three different promos in stock as well. So they had the Easter chick, which was available to you if you spent $65. They also had the Easter bunny, which was a free gift with purchase if you spent $40. And if you bought any modular building, you actually got that taxi cab for free. So that's a pretty sick promo and it's still available, which is pretty neat, I think. Besides that, I saw some really neat stuff on display, including these custom brick heads right here. We got Link, Princess Zelda, you got Link's sword in the back there, and also Ganondorf. Those are sick, I love those brick heads. Those should be an official set. Now, one thing I was looking for was actually a Batman art, the Jim Lee art. I've gotta slowly start getting those because I wanna do five of them. I wanna do the ultimate Batman, which is like the tall one, just like Darth Vader, which would take three sets. And then I wanna do Joker and Harley. So I need five of those in the end, but they didn't have any in stock. So no luck there. I would go get some stuff there to get some of those promos, but check this out. I just made an unauthorized purchase from London Drugs, which sells camera equipment. Why did we go there? We need to get some command strips to hang some art. And this is what I ended up getting. I got this sick new Video Mic Pro, which is a road brand mic. The really cool thing about this one is it actually has a battery. So it's gonna be like the best quality. You can see it's designed for like some professional video. So I'm really excited about this. It's got a 10 year warranty, it uh, lasts 70 hours, and it's got like a decibel boost, which is really neat. So I can't wait to try that out. Also, we're gonna be getting some smooth footage in the Lego room because we got a new like crazy awesome tripod. So yeah, I'm glad that I didn't uh, buy any Lego, but we're still gonna go to other Lego shopping destinations to see if there's any Lego that we can get. But I did get these two things to improve the quality of our videos moving forward. So I can't wait to try some pans and zooms and some audio and stuff like that with these two new video products. All right, let's check out Mastermind Toys, see if they have any of the new April releases. Here we go, look at this deal. 50% off video, you can get a boom box 50% off for this thing right over here. Look at that minifigure, 50% off. I sort of want this guy. Oh yeah. I like this one. Some cool minifigs, but I don't know. Even at 50% off, I'm not sure. So I saw that some people were getting some of the new Jurassic World, Jurassic Park stuff from Mastermind. And it's not coming out till mid-month, right? So well, that's what we were here to check out. Now, you're probably wondering why we haven't bought these yet. 
we have them coming. They're on their way. All right, don't worry. We got the new helmets on their way. But they got some of the new Speed Champ stuff here and a bunch of the Stotts stuff. Eventually, I want to get this Dots letter board and see what we can do with it. Eventually, I want to get this as well. Hey, that's like 65 bucks. That might be a good thing to get, you know, to get the promo and get that. That's pr actually a perfect price point, I think. We got Boba Fett's throne room and uh, this new trunk thing, which is pretty neat. But yeah, we wanted to see if they had any of the new Jurassic stuff, but they don't. Looks like the Bowser's airship is 20% off. There's a deal. And then, of course, there's more video stuff over here that's 50% uh, off as well, including the punk pirate ship. Looks decent. <laughs> I don't think it's going to sell that well, even at that price, though. It's crazy how poorly video did, hey? Pretty wild. But yeah, don't see any of the new stuff that we really want. And there is some bigger stuff up top there, as per norm. We will check out one more Mastermind Toys on our journey here, and we're also going to go to uh, the other Lego store as well. So yeah, we may as well check it all out. And I didn't see any of the uh, Jim Lee arts there either. Oh well. To our next destination we are going, which is actually, I think, the old house. I think. You know what? First we got to get some lunch. Check it out. Coupon shopping. Two can dine for $12.99. That sounds like a deal, but I sort of want the Baconator for five bucks. Maybe I'll get a Baconator on the side, hey? Eh? Now that we've eaten, we've got to get an oil change. All right, so who remembers this place right here? This is the old Lego room, everybody. It's actually a pretty big spot. But yeah, we had uh, renters here and they uh, just moved out. So I was honestly thinking about making this a Lego house. This would be or we're in the basement right now. This is where the Lego room was, right? Something's wrong with that light fixture. Might have to replace some bulbs or something. House is actually in pretty good condition. I'm surprised. We rented it out for, oh geez, 19 months or something like that. But yeah, that's the main room, right? That's, uh, if we were to make this a Lego house, which I don't think we're going to, but may as well discuss it. This is where we'd have the Lego city. Now, this older house has these steel support beams, which essentially support the house, right? So. If we were to make this a Lego house, I'd probably remove this wall. And then we would probably remove this wall because there's steel support beams in here too. Obviously you'd have to keep those. And then this is a bedroom. So we'd try and make the basement like an open concept with just the steel support beams. And we'd make everything down here a Lego city. Wouldn't that be cool? Of course there's a washroom right here. We'd leave the Lego out of there. But then we'd make our way upstairs I don't think there'd be Lego in the hallway or anything. You never know though, right? So we'd make our way upstairs where Jose is right now. And this is where we have our kitchen, right? So the kitchen, of course, there probably wouldn't be any Lego in here. We'd have a kitchen though, so we can pre prepare some meals and eat, have a fridge, you know, dishwasher. We could use these cupboards as Lego storage, eh? Hey, Jose, wouldn't that be cool? And then this would, I don't know what we would do in here, I don't know if this would be like our office or streaming area, maybe. Maybe something like that. We put the billies around the shelves, probably just right in front of the window. Who cares about the windows, right? And then we'd have like billies all around here. Maybe have our streaming desk in like the living room there. And then you'd come down the hallway here. Then we'd have this bedroom here that could be like, maybe this is all billies and this is only Star Wars in here. This is like an entire room dedicated to Star Wars. Maybe there's a small table in the middle that could be a scene that's rotating constantly. So it's a rotating scene in the middle, like Hoth or, you know, uh, Endor or, or whatever, you know, just like a rotating scene in the middle. And then there's billies going around the outside and it's all Star Wars. And then we could come into this room and it'd be, you know, something similar to that. Maybe this is like superheroes and cars and there's the same thing. Nice table in the middle of a scene that's always rotating. And then we'd have like a literal Lego house and then we have a nice washroom here, right? It's actually a pretty decent, like it's a really nice house actually. So that's the thing is we're concerned about security and obviously loss of income from turning this into, you know, a Lego house. Obviously we'd have the loss of income. Of course we could rent it out to Brixie and we'd have somewhat of a source of income. Also we'd have a nice big backyard uh, that we could store stuff in, right? Like a driveway back there. Uh, we could have a nice big yard where we have a fire pit or fire pit and stuff like that where we could have fires. It'd actually be really cool. It'd be a really cool concept. It is doable, 
but security, the loss of income, and or like the added expense, and also the com commute to work would be about 20 minutes or so. So do the positives outweigh the negatives? I don't know. I mean, there's a few things that uh, we have to do in this house. We are actually going to uh, reno it for the month of April, which is the month we're in, obviously. Uh, there's a few things that we have to do. We have to paint it. Uh, we have to redo some of the drywall and the ceiling. The ceiling drywall didn't hold up. The guy that did the drywalling when we did the original rentals in here wasn't the best. So we have to redo some ceiling drywall and we have to paint it. And then there's a few other things like just got to fix up some light switches. Like how in the world did that happen? Tell me that. <laughs> We've got to replace some light switches and some taps and stuff like that. But yeah, it'd be super cool to turn this into a Lego house. It's still a possibility, but Jose is shaking her head right now. I so want to do it. Can you envision those rooms? It's so cool. I know I talked about it in the vlog, but now you can actually visualize it, sort of what I would want to do. Wouldn't it be hard to rip those walls out down there and have the rooms specific themes? Should they envision the Star Wars room? It's like a table in the middle, like a li one lemon table, and it's like the Battle of Hoth. Our main concern is ease of access. Ease of access. It's and just so convenient to go down to our basement when we have the time to work. Yeah. And that's it, folks. There we have the uh, old stomping grounds of Brixie. It's time to get fixing it up and uh, do some yard work. The yard is atrocious. Ugh. I swear they didn't do yard work for two years, so now I got to do it all. It's not a big deal, though. I just raked the whole front in like 15 minutes. Easy peasy. But yeah, let's move on to our next destination. Well, I haven't even mentioned it yet either. You guys notice the haircut? Goes good with the mustache, eh? So this display over here is actually a little bit different. It doesn't uh, rotate. Look at that. You got uh, Marty McFly and Doc Brown right in front there. And it's levitating. It's on the acrylic displays with the wheels in the flying position. Very cool. And of course, they still have those promos that we uh, that we were taking a look at earlier. So they have those promos here as well at the Southgate Lego store. In this display, we got some animals. Oh yeah, and then we got some dots artwork right here. And then of course, the infamous tiger. That's the one that we could get. It retails for 65 bucks, and then we'd get both promos. And I've been looking at that one for a while. It looks like a really cool build. They actually had some crazy damaged box specials at this store too, like the Zetros Trial Truck, Camp New, and also the Hogwarts Icons. You get $50 with the VIP points if you bought those damaged box specials. Also, I really like the look of this one, the Mustang, $25 in VIP points if you got that one there. The Pick a Brick Wall had this new hologram thing and they were doing these race car things so you could like build your own race car. I thought that was pretty neat, you know? You could build some go-karts or something like that. And they had some of the new mechs in stock, Black Panther, Iron Man, and Wolverine. That new Wolverine minifigure is legendary. Plus, I saw the Spider-Man set. I really liked Vulture. That was pretty neat. I've actually never saw that before. I don't know why. So this is what we ended up getting. Of course, we got the Tiger. I've been eyeing that one up for uh, far too long. That one was 65 bucks here in Canada. And then I couldn't say no to this, you know, a Wolverine minifigure. I don't collect mechs per se, but this one looks pretty good. Like, look at his claws. Plus, you get the Wolverine minifig, right? Super cool. And with that, we got the Chick promo. 318 pieces. I feel like that's a good value. And also, the cute bunny rabbit, Polybag. It's hard to pass up on some of those deals in there. Some of those damaged box deals where you got $50. Where the Mustang one was really good too, $25 back in VIP points just because they had slightly damaged boxes. Plus you would have got these promos too, right? So it's hard to pass up on those, but you know what? I'm glad that we got these two sets right here. So an espresso machine magically showed up at our doorstep, sent to us by a beautiful person not too long ago. So check out this Nespresso store. It's massive, I've never been in one, and I'm excited to check out the coffee flavors. So this is what we got. Caramel cookie. Ooh, that sounds good, hey? Also, Orafio. Oh yeah. Coffee's like art these days, I tell ya. Solilio, Solilio, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it, it, it sounded good. Not as good as this one here, though. This one is chocolate fudge. And then finally, we got this one here. Yeah, crazy stuff. Not 
very cheap. That was 60 bucks, but I only drink like one of these a day. And if I drink more than one coffee in a day, then I drink drip coffee. But these are like, I think packs of 12, something like that. Yeah, these are some nice flavors to add to the collection. Beautiful, good with like dessert and stuff like that, right? Not bad. I feel like that's two things that I love in one location, one mall I should say. Oh, almost just ran into a tree. But coffee and Lego, yeah! Are we gonna do more shopping? Yes, yes we are. Just to give perspective of how long these videos take to film, not that we're doing it just for the video, we're just running errands. We started at 11 a.m. It is now 4.30. It's been five and a half hours and we have three more destinations to go to. Crazy, eh? Now we're at the one with the huge sign. In case anybody was wondering, they uh, have lots of video 50% off here at this location. So make sure you come check it out. Edmonton uh, South, okay? <laughs> Up here we got uh, Batman art. They didn't have that at either Lego store. And then way up top here, we've got some cool stuff like the Vespa, more Andy Warhol art, and also some of the newer stuff up there. But not the new stuff that we were looking for. I always thought we were going to be able to get like one or two Jurassic World sets today, but clearly not. But they do have the Batman art, but I feel like I'm going to redeem all of my points on Batman art when I want to get it, or at least get it from the Lego store where I get points and promos. Buddy, are you serious? Last time we were at Mastermind Toys, we bought a pool table. This time, I'm gonna buy a tech deck. Is that a cool one? Look at that. It looks like Scar. Five bucks. I'm gonna buy one. Hey, do some tech deck in Jose or what? Look at this kit. It's a good looking kit. Are they different? No, they're all the same. I don't think I need a kit though. Which one would you get? There's so many to choose from. Oh, that one's psychedelic. What are we gonna get? Zero. What's that? That's a toy machine. They're all different, like real, legit skateboard brands. GGK. That's funny. I think I like that lion one the best. That one's pretty sweet. I'm gonna get the lion one. There it is. I'm gonna grab that one there. We're gonna do some intense tech decking. Stay tuned. Buddy, we're on like X Games. She's gonna get the psychedelic one. I'm gonna get the lion one. This is next level. All right, who's ready for the pop shove it? Oh, sick, bro. <laughs> is this gonna be the trip of unauthorized purchases? Because now we're at the Nike factory store. I was like a second away from buying a new pair of golf shoes, but I haven't played golf in like three years. But yeah, look at this. Look at that shirt, eh? Yeah, not bad. Summer is coming, so got to get some more workout shirts, right? Can't take on the heat in a cotton Star Wars shirt. Look at that. <laughs> For the steering wheel. Don't ask me why I'm doing that. It is what it is. Let me tell you, the cotton Star Wars shirts, not as good as the uh, Nike Dry Fit shirts. I love them. I live in these things in the heat in the summer, you know? So now we're home and check out the new tripod. This thing is awesome. It's massive, it's heavy duty. Look at this. Look how smoothly it glides. It's so nice. Also it has like these tension things. So if you wanna loosen it, so it glides smoother, you can. And then of course we've got our new mic attached to that right there. This thing runs on like a nine volt battery. So it's like legendary. When you compare this tripod, like beast to the one that we used to use or still use, I guess. When you compare the two, oops, I loosened that a little bit much. But yeah, like when you compare this with that, it's like night and day. Also, look, this is our old mic. So this mic costs about $80. This tripod costs about $100. This mic costs $300. And this tripod costs $270 Canadian dollars. So, I mean, I think it should be a lot better, like night and day, I would assume. Let's uh, compare 
the new mic with the old mic and also do some pans with this new tripod. So this is my old Rode shotgun mic and this is the new mic. I think it's pretty good. I don't know until I edit this. I don't even know if I have it set up right. There's actually uh, two different settings. Right now it's on the flat setting. There's also the mic on HPF setting, which means high pass filter. And essentially it cuts off like low rumbling noises and stuff like that. So I think that's gonna be really good for like eliminating, you know, furnace noises. Whenever the furnace is on, I think it's gonna be, a, it's gonna do a really good job of eliminating that. Let's turn that on and see how that sounds. So there's that setting there. Also this mic, it has uh, decibels. So you can turn it to negative 10, zero or 20. So you can control, you know, how many decibels it's picking up. Right now I have it at zero. I assume that's good. But yeah, there's the new mic. It must sound pretty good, I hope. I mean, I guess I'll find out when I'm editing, right? So while we test this tripod, I'm gonna be using my old microphone because this is a wireless mic. So it's better for, you know, on the go sort of stuff. So the uh, volume is sort of more consistent. Whereas the other ones are shotgun mics. So it's more so for like vlogging and unboxings and Ask Brixie episodes and stuff like that. I think it'll improve the audio for that sort of forward facing stuff. But as you can see, I mean, this tripod keeps this relatively stable. Obviously, there's going to be a learning curve to it. But generally, when you're really zoomed in like this and you're freehanding it, essentially, there's no way of keeping it stable. But when you're on this wicked awesome tripod that we have, I think we're going to be able to get some really cool pans and zooms. And you know what? I've experimented with the other tripod that we had for quite some time. And just using this one here for the minute that I've been using it, I'm extremely satisfied with uh, the results. We might be a little bit too far zoomed in here. Oh, there we go. There's some cool stuff. But it just seems to be hyper smooth and can capture nice footage from very far away. Well, obviously, in conjunction with my awesome camcorder, it can uh, capture these brickheads from a distance and the vehicles and stuff. Yeah, I mean, this camera is crazy, and this tripod's even crazier. You just sort of get what you pay for when it comes to this stuff. I used that $100 tripod for forever, right? And now with this one, nearly $300, it seems a bit better. I will say, though, for some reason... Uh, as I turn to the left here, the head of the tripod seems to be unscrewing and getting looser and maybe making it a bit less level. Just a quick edit on the topic about this thing screwing off and going crooked. Well, it, it actually doesn't. I just didn't have the headpiece on tight enough. And what it do now, like after I tightened it, I just loosen this and then it actually rotates right on the thing. I thought something was rotten there. Always learning when it comes to videography. But yeah, this thing is just legendary, especially now that I figured that out. So yeah. But yeah, there we go. That's the uh, the tripod. That's pretty sweet, eh? And just tighten it up here so I can come stand in the camera. That's pretty cool. But new tripod, new mic. We got ourselves a tiger. I feel like uh, Scarface, 20 Montana or something like that. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, we got, uh, we got ourselves a tiger now, which is super awesome. And you know what? I'm super excited to uh, build this. I'm probably going to build this tonight. This bad boy right here. Hey, that's cool. And another thing too is we were at the house, the other house. I've been thinking about it. I sort of want to bring the Lego room over there. I'm envisioning it. Like I am envisioning something awesome over there. I sort of want to have the entire basement gutted other than the furnace room and do a perimeter layout down there with the Lego city. I did the math, like we could fit even like a larger Lego city down there if we did that. And then if we had all the shelves upstairs as well, and I think we'd be able to experiment with a perimeter layout that looked pretty awesome. I've seen some pretty awesome perimeter layouts uh, in the Lego community. I would never be able to do a perimeter layout down here because the shelving. And the thing about the shelving is, I mean, the bottom half of the shelving doesn't even get utilized, you know, like... It doesn't really make any sense. I guess I could technically do a perimeter layout here if I push all the Lego up against the shelving and then just don't utilize the bottom of it. 
but the Lego city over there would be epic. The shelving rooms would be epic. And it would just be so cool. I've been thinking about it. At first I was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then I thought about it and I was like, no, let's not do it. Let's not do it because of this and this and this. But now I'm thinking to myself, like, it would be super cool. I don't really know what to do. I guess we'll figure that out in another video, but, uh, or another time. Yeah, but we got some cool stuff. I'll probably build it and I can't wait to uh, get started. Don't ask me why I'm using my lapel mic. I should be using my new, my new mic, but it is what it is. Uh, I sorry, I'm sorry about going on about technology in this video. But as a YouTuber, it's something I'm fond of. I like it. One thing I haven't really experimented with is DSLR cameras. I'm using my camcorder right now. And I always use my camcorder or my phone or my GoPro or my other <laughs> camera. I've got multiple cameras or my webcams or my Yeti mic or this mic or that mic. But, I mean, as a YouTuber, I got to have all the right equipment. And uh, I think I, I eventually want to want to experiment with a DSLR camera but I don't know if I want to go down that rabbit hole because I know there's a lot to learn and I think the camera that I'm using now is just sort of a point and shoot you're good to go the settings are rock solid everything's golden it's easy you don't have to have knowledge how to use it but eventually I might upgrade but that's enough about that uh, either way pretty soon we'll build these I uh, just wanted to take you on the journey here as we went and checked out the old place and I'm still thinking about that place there uh, new tripod, I'll get used to using it. Uh, new mics, we'll get used to using that as well and sort of go from there. Thank you so much for popping on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Peace out. Farewell.